last two years, um, we've just had experienced some incredible growth. Um, after signing um, on with a local distributor, um, it's been about 145%. It was the craziest year we've ever had in the sense that we had to more than double our brewing capacity. Mm -hmm. And so our whole focus this last year has been on um, increasing production while maintaining just the highest levels of standards and quality that we can have. And um, one of the things I've been really you know, excited about this last year is just the increase in, um, in the quality level of our beers. It's just been a real effort, a focused effort on our part. One of the things that we've challenged ourselves with this year is just trying to also push the envelope on new styles and, and having fun. It's really easy once you start having, you know, like a runaway success like Austin Amber or Stash IPA just to get so focused on brewing those beers and, and cranking them out because that's what people want. But, you know, by introducing the Brew Illuminati lineup this last year, it's just been a way for us to like challenge ourselves creatively and brew new and, and different styles. So I think we're just trying to have fun and remember where we came from and and the fact that people want new and interesting things to try as well as their kind of favorites. I think it's really been amazing, especially the last three years with all the new breweries that are getting started. I think it's really good overall for the Austin scene. I think that if Austin be can become known as a beer destination, it's just going to make it that much better. And I think that each new brewery that's open has, you know, been trying to, you know, ha interject its own spirit into the mix. I know a lot of times people worry that, you know, it's going to be too competitive or you know how many you know local breweries can Austin support but you know it's it's still worth trying you know <laughs> you know each one of these breweries that's opening has a dream and it's worth pursuing so I mean I think the public's not going to get tired of trying new beers either so you know it remains to be seen but you know when you compare Austin to a place like Portland Oregon or you know any number of cities in Colorado, I mean, there's, we're not saturated by any means. <laughs> um, so I think it's been very, very exciting. It's been fun to see what the new guys have come up with, and I think it makes us want to work that much harder to come up with new and interesting beers, so I think it's good for everyone.